Hello and welcome. My name is Spidey T, and I am glad to have you with me here on a wonderful day, wonderful evening, uh, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we're going to get into the game. It's called To the Moon, and the reason why we're getting into this game, and the reason why we're actually going to start playing this series, is because I've heard very good things from my friend Suki, from my friend Various Pitch. Um, and also from Motive. Uh, this is my friends that I normally talk to on a daily basis. Anyways, so what I'm saying is that we should totally get into this game because it's one that's very emotional. So I've heard. Don't know, never played it before in my life, but here we go. And let's get to this game. In three, two, one, cue. The music, please. And thank you. Now. Freebird Games dot com. Two D animation, and this probably is gonna take a long time to finish. But that's okay. Let's start. We got a little lighthouse. Go. Uh, moon, of course. Oh, it's turning bright. Oh, there we go. Green. All right. Oh, Music. Oh, nice. We got a little. Okay. Illustrate not work. Why am I starting to talk English? Sorry. Um, no functions, hopefully. Uh, we got a piano. Is that my sister? Oh, am I in the phone with that? What? What the hell was that? Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Really? Really? Hold on, wait a second. Shouldn't the car be like side, like more towards that? I know, I get it. It's a pixel game. All right, okay. Here we go. You ran over it anyways. Oh. Really? Oh. <laughs> you ran over it and hit the tree. Good job, buddy. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Oh, right. So the company's totally gonna pay for it. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Uh, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. Right. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Okay. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furballs he fantasies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move on. Uh, left clip an object to interact with it. Shaved equipment. I didn't want to click that. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Right click to toggle menu. Oh, let's see. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it. Ah, uh, that's asking too much. Right. Smoking hot car. It was a smoking hot car. <laughs> now it's just smoking. 
and uh, a little destroyed. Uh, is there anything else I can click? This is an interesting game, and no, there's nothing else I can click, is there? Nope, just footprints to walk away. Oh, oh. Is that an arrow pointing me off? <laughs> go that way, don't go anywhere else. I'm going this way. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you can remember. How thoughtful of you. Okay. I did try and try the car. Oh, I can click and move anywhere? No, oh, well, in that case. What are those? Hello. Yeah, sure, you can go off. That's fine. Patient offline. Patient offline. Patient. Okay. Uh, senior memory traversal agent. Signal corp. Technician specialist. Signal corp. Notes. Items. Oh, okay. Cool. Equipment. Wow. With a box this heavy, what's inside? It's got to be important. Okay. Okay. What is it so I did? No, stop it. Okay. Don't know. I think we're gonna figure it out though. Who put a boulder here? Maybe this is a security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try to push it another way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Just call it a night and blame it on that. Push my hand, find a branch, warp mission and go home. What happens if I have warp mission? You know what... You know... You do know that you won't be paid if we don't go through with it, right? Do you need fund an IKEA shopping is pretty soon? Oh well I tried. Push it by hand! Why not? Alright, on three. One, two, three. Shit, that actually worked. I I don't even Oh <laughs> what was that? Not a boulder, that's sure. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, we'll figure the thing out later. Bye, you are. Okay. Well, what flip-flop was that? Cats. I love cats. Okay. Am I going? Is that the house? I don't know if I want to. Oh! Oh, it's the little kid's house. Ma, they're here. That's my dog barking. Um, hold on. Oh, you can't do this to me. My dog... Ugh. No, not a bad place to retire. Okay. Sasha, shut up. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, you can probably still hear that barking. Hope it doesn't bother you. Okay. I could do better. Night shifts love on my hand. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they have they'd have any coffee. Shut up. Okay. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Okay. Not through your blattering they won't. 
and your eyelids would. Don't forget the equipment, moron. Thanks for that. You're so nice, aren't you? You don't get paid enough for this. You don't get paid anyways. I don't think. What do you do? Why are you slowly backing up? Okay. Face time. Act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Okay. Dr. Walks and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his take care caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. Oh, that's nice. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny. Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Yay. I don't know if I want to. Can, can we... Oh, we can search. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Well, you are such a dick. Yep, I'm gonna wait. Full River. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. That's interesting. Anything else I can do? Nothing else. I guess I have to grab this stuff. Received equipment. Okay. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Sounds like a good do. Will you drop it? Will you drop it? Is there a possibility of you dropping it if I don't just head upstairs? You seem like you're holding on to it pretty well. Alright. Go upstairs. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you push me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyways. Oh, okay. Sounds such a, like a nice melody, it's wonderful. These kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, so it's... Uh... Okay. Talk to her first. Ready to set up? Uh... Look around first. Jay, you know, I think I'd like to carry this extremely heavy object around some more. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> I'm so horrible. Oh, wait, I had the icon thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, I keep getting it, and then I lose it. Whereas... Oh, I only get it around her. Or her. Okay. There. Go this way and then talk to her. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. Well, that sounds sad. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. In that case. Yep, set machine down. Yes. 
It'll do just a moment. I didn't realize that I didn't have that much time. Are you sure common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Yeah, okay. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. What's this? How's he doing? Not so well if I were to say he's just he's got just a day or two left. This is sad. That's plenty of time. Right. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. Okay. So what's the wish? The moon. Okay. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The Jesus just keep on getting crazier, huh? The oh, the geezers just keep getting. Oh wow, I am so bad. I'm sorry. I the geezers just keep getting. <laughs> okay, so can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. John is an odd man, though the two years that I've worked here, he really spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years- Oh, almost two years- Wow, way two years ago. That's crazy. What's that? I don't really know how many details- I don't really know how many details. I would have known if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? As much as I don't know which one do I want. Which one do I want? Doctor Orlean, fine. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Yeah, I know you are, and you're gonna stay that way. All right, buddy. Seem like you're not too smart. Okay, so Doctor Re Doctor Rosalyn, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Right, you are. Um, what is that supposed to go to? Or where am I going, rather? Oh, I can look at the paintings. Of course, I have to be close enough. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Okay. Can't actually look at them. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Uh, surfboard. Okay. Penguin? Looks like a penguin. A casual painting of three people. Interesting. 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 Very interesting. So what do they got here for books? A selection of readings from medical journals. Okay, I guess nothing important. My bad. I thought there might be something important there. Uh, hello. Let's see if there's any crap. No, nothing. 
What am I looking for? I don't even know. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should save. Wait. Auto save. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I went in there. Nothing's changed, I don't think. Could be wrong. I'm just gonna go this way. Wait, come back here for a moment. Why? I have something for you. Oh wait, was that him who talked? Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Sorry, I'm bad. I'm... Um, okay, anyways. Received remote patient monitor. Okay, that'll keep you updated on journey status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Okay. I guess in this is the menu. Okay. Yep. Seems good. Seems good right now. Okay. Very, very interesting. I really like the sounds of this. Yeah, I'm actually gonna take a look around a little bit. And uh, before do you know anything else? Is it garbage? Garbage is where I'd start looking. Of course. Maybe not. What you want? Sarah Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Save for us, and we'll give you a tour around the house. What do you say? Well, <laughs> let's tell kids no, cut the crap and help. Or tell it, sure, I'll go get it for you the dad side of me. My mother used to keep the candies on the high shelves too, alright? I'll go get it. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Well, you are really... Blech, there's no point in going up there now. Okay. Oh. Oh! But I went up there anyways. Because I'm dumb. Okay, let's go downstairs. Let's go in there, and this is the kitchen area. There's that candy cane. Really? Must be lack of coffee. Usually I would have given up and found another way already. Can I not push the chair that way? Oh, I get it. I have to push. That's not a chair. Saved candy cane. Terrible calories. Would you stop? Go over here. Through the door. Listen to my talk. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, I got what you wanted. Go, candy cane. If you come and give it me a tour at this instant, oh, I won't sneeze on it. 
Oh, that was kind of harsh. Okay, where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. Funny room, huh? I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay. Study, 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 study. Where is the study? In the study? Is this the study? No, not the study then. It's not the study. This is probably the study, I'm guessing. Guessing. This is study right here. I clicked on going there. So let's go in here. This is the book room. <coughs> <coughs> the key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Uh, let me guess. I'm. I should probably turn on the lights. That's better. Origami has already supplemented the great Wikipedia or 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 oh man I bad at reading okay Origamia Origami as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding for though it has many omnis omniscience and contains much that is oh my aproscryful if you're wondering if I don't know how to pronounce that word if I even know what it means I don't I'm probably gonna have to look it up later or at least wildly inaccurate it scores over the older more pedestrian work in two important respects First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. Okay, so that's what origami's for. That's interesting. Read more. For the grand origami master, it has absolutely essential for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Dusk Light, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of daisies when showering. We passed it. Sure, why not? Uh, maybe another year. Chose its hiding spot well. Yeah, I did. Is there anything else? Come on. Read passage. Oh, come on! I can't read it. But I want to. My brother's new clothes. And the colors, the colors of that beautiful fabric. I have never seen anything like it in my life. They all tried to conceal their disappointments at not being able to see the clothes. A child, however, who had no important role and could only see things as his eyes showed them to him, went up to the carriage. But he hasn't gotten anything on, the child said. Don't talk nonsense, his father reprimanded. But the boy's remark, which was, has been heard by the bystanders, repeated over and over. Which was, but he hasn't got anything on. That's interesting. Uh, no, I already read that one. Do we have any of this bookcase? Nothing in this bookcase, huh? Can I look at this painting? 
Almost stepped on the paint. Does it happen again? No. Okay. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw him back and he needed the band-aid. He 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 he. That's funny. Okay. So are we good? We can open the funny room in the basement now. Oh no crap. Okay. This is the basement where we play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Chest is locked. Alright, where's the key? Find all kinds of cool junk it's in here. Here, moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese—you name it. Everything moldy. It's just the way it is. Once we were down here and the lights were out, and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. That is so horrible, Sarah. It's so horrible. Oh man. Chest is locked. Box is filled with colored papers. Cabinet is filled with dusty books. Where is this room in the basement? But they. What was that? Where was that? Where is the door to- oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, I am so bad at this game. This pile in. Door is locked. Open the door with a room key. Okay, thank you. It's like a cave in here. Ah, uh, that's a lot of rabbits. Okay, little rabbits. What are you up to? A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh! Origami. Broken music box. Okay. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Okay. Take it. Okay. Receive toy punishments. I really don't like this room. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so he never hold him. There's more than more of them actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse, it's just beneath this cliff. I go see, I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... It's rather cold outside, but... Uh, go see the lighthouse. Or, it's rather cold outside, but we'll stay and wait for the machine. Okay, fine, whatever. If Johnny's the one who put the rabbits there, I'll probably run into it inside his memories anyways. Let's go upstairs and see if Neil's done with the configuring machine. 
That's his heartbeat. I feel like a doctor. How's the heartbeat? Good. Just checking. Don't you die on me. Okay, this part I did, I have no control over. <laughs> oh, why don't you be late by ha another half an hour? Not like we got a dying plane on or anything. Well, it's not like I went to the lighthouse either. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. You douche. Get off your high horse. I'm late. Just this one time. And you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are. Because I'm competent. You're not that competent because you ran into a damn tree. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop chop. You're a douche. Okay. On the... Excuse me, on the couch? You say couch. Uh... What? Initiate. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, it's not supposed to happen. What change? Should be at least be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's go in. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. to go down the stairs please. Well it's locked off. So is that outside huh? That's interesting. Well, I need to go outside. Guess that's what I'm wondering. Okay. Dr. Rosaline. A pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Ron Matternhorn. <coughs> Dr. Lorenzo von Matternhorn. Wow, you're just great. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. By convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Hear anything she says, I don't think. 
Really? Actually, you've already called us. Oh. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show us some respect. It's just a problem. No. It's horrible. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just repeat it. That's horrible. Why would you waste time like that? I don't know why you waste time. You. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. You're such a dick, Dr. Watts. So, can you do it? That's a good question. Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Do you want the fame, the money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. Yes, I just do. Okay, that makes sense. You just want to go to the moon. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the buttocks. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you're given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood that you, childhood that you to become an astronaut. Get on a giant catapult. Point is, you'll need to have more to say than just I don't know. And as long as you can take me to the moon, I will corroborate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap in memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Nope. <clears throat> we'll need to prepare this memento first. Why would I do nothing? Okay. What is this? Complete the memento. Put the orbs to flip pieces. Hello. There we go. That is totally crap. The memento cannot be activated for traversal. Okay. What do I have waiting? Um. Activate and then we'll be going. Uh, oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! I've been doing this for a long time. Pass on this. So this is to the moon. We're gonna go into another episode next week sometime. Don't know exactly when, but we will. Like it if you liked the video. Oh, oh, it's bad. Okay, like it if you like. 
like the video, meaning uh, tap that like button and uh, comment if you have something to add, if I didn't do something, whatever. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. This is To The Moon, episode one. And Spidey T, well, I'll see you later.